Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope that you are doing well. I'm really excited because we're talking about a brand new brand today called Minori Beauty. I've actually been following this brand for a while since like pre-launch. Their founder Anastasia has been posting about the brand so I've been following since then and kind of like waiting eagerly to see when these products launch. And they launched a few weeks ago and then the detox market actually just started carrying them maybe like a week or two ago that was announced um, and they kindly asked me if I wanted to try a few of their products which I said yes I absolutely do. And this whole brand is kind of based on the idea of minimalism which I absolutely love because you guys know me I don't wear a ton of makeup when I do wear makeup and I definitely am in the camp of less is more partly because of ease and then partly because it's just what I feel like works best for me so I thought we would try out their products today with they launch with two highlighters two blushes and then I think four lip glosses if I'm wrong I will have corrected myself on the screen here but I have two of their lip glosses and then I have one highlight and one blush so we're gonna work with all those today their cream products which I absolutely love. And I feel like cream affords like a really easy application. So we'll test them out and see. This is gonna be kind of a first impressions. I am gonna put on a little bit of makeup beforehand and I'll just breeze through that really quickly because that's not really what today's video is about. So I'm just gonna use some of my Kira Rice foundation. It's been like one of my favorite finds of this year. And I actually have a face oil on my skin right now, which I find works as such a great base for a lot of products, but in particular Kira Weiss products. I'm having some dryness going on right now. And I I think I know why. But I just figured that foundation would lay a little bit nicer with a face oil. Okay, so I'm just gonna press this into my skin and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna apply just the tiniest bit of Kosas Revealer Concealer underneath my eyes. I am dealing with some dark circles as per usual. And that is light reflective, so hopefully that will brighten my under eye area a little bit. But that's really all the concealer work that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put in some brow gel. I'm back in the clear eco brow a uh, gel can for a while I was definitely feeling the tinted brow gel and I think now that I really need to pluck my brows <laughs> I'm back on the clear brow gel one to see how long I can wait before attacking these bad boys the tinted brow gel now just adds like a little too much volume so in the spirit of this brand we're keeping everything very minimal that's kind of all of the base products that we're gonna wear before moving into the actual Minori Beauty products so like I said there are two shades of highlight I have champagne here and then I also have their cream blush and orchid and there's one other shade. I really love their packaging. It's again, very minimal. It has these beautiful line drawings, which I always find so wonderful. I like, I'm convinced if I ever got a tattoo, I would want something like that. All of the shades are muted, kind of warm neutrals. So why don't we start with the blush? Cause I think I'm gonna use that on my eyes too. Does anyone else have trouble opening? boxes like this. Both the highlight and the blush come in little pots and it's kind of like a soft matte lid and then you have the actual product inside this glass container and I was immediately <laughs> gravitating towards this color. I love that sort of like deep rose with like a hint of plum sort of blush so I knew this color would be my jam. Like I said this is an orchid. So the first time putting my finger in it's quite glossy We'll see how it feels to apply. I have some on my finger. I'm hoping that it'll be a sheer application, that this won't be too much, but we'll start with a little and blend it out. Definitely doesn't feel like a true cream product to me. It, like I said, has more of kind of like a, a glossy, almost like a liquid blush texture, but it's in a pot. Really easy to build up pigmentation. Obviously I have quite light skin, but it's pretty vibrant on my cheeks and it is a super beautiful color. I'm always so much more sure going in on the second cheek when I've like, you know, played with something a little and I know what to anticipate. That is a really pretty flush of color. It's interesting because when I first went in and felt how kind of like balmy, almost like liquid blush like this is. I was thinking that it would be quite glossy on your skin, but it actually dries down quite a bit. And although, you know, I'm getting a nice luminous glow from it, it's not shiny and it's not kind of sliding around my face. In fact, the texture reminds me a little bit of the Salt New York blushes that I've tried, but it applies very differently um, and definitely sets on your face a lot more, which I like. I think that hopefully bodes well for longevity of this product throughout the day. So like I said, that's the blush in Orchid. And I'm gonna take some of that and put it in my socket and kind of on my lid. Okay, I'm gonna apply some mascara now. I'm still using the Le Bouche Rouge mascara and still really enjoying it. Okay, I will say, I think this is definitely user error, but I am struggling to get it out of that packaging. We're moving on to the highlight. So like I said, it comes in the same 
glass pot as the blush. This is in the shade Champagne and it has that same kind of matte beautiful top and the texture of the highlight is quite similar to the blush. It doesn't look like there's any sparkles, which I love. I'm just gonna stick this on kind of the high point of my cheekbone and then up onto my brow bone. Hopefully you guys can see that. Again, I know this is a cream product, but the way that it's like kind of blending and sticking, maybe sticking is not the right adjective, but the way that it's setting on my skin, it feels kind of similar to a liquid product, which I really love. See this side? I mean, this definitely gives you that like golden hour glow. Hopefully it's translating on camera. I like never know because sometimes I look in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh yeah, it's definitely, people will definitely be able to see this. And then I go back to edit these and you can't tell at all what I'm talking about. I need a tiny bit on the bridge of my nose, inner corner maybe. I just like love makeup brands where you can do everything with your fingers. I just think it makes life so much easier. My cheeks feel pretty much fully set. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be moving around. And then I have two glosses. Like I said, I have one in the shade Dream, which is a clear gloss. And it has the same color, kind of like warm terracotta matte soft top. And then I got Juneberry, which is a berry color. Um, Juneberry looks like it has some like light reflective particles in it. And then Dream is just a clear gloss. I'm excited to try this doe foot. It's definitely a very unique shape. I haven't seen this before. Let's go ahead and do Dream. I feel like that's the minimal look. I have some foundation on my lip, but what I'll do is I'll just line them really softly. I'm using the Mented Pink Liner, which is really long wearing. I'm not usually a lip gloss person because I don't like anything sticky. So we'll see how this goes. There's definitely a little bit of a scent to it. I'm not sure I love the scent, but I do love this doe foot applicator, which I've now made super dirty. Well, that's the only bummer about clear glosses, but I love how this gloss feels. Look, no stickiness. It just has a really pretty shine on it. I feel like I have a really beautiful glowing look. Obviously, if you could go without the foundation product, you would just have like a three-step makeup look of a blush, a highlight, and then a lip gloss, which I kind of think is all you need. So maybe I'll try this on bare skin next to see what I think. But I'm really happy with how it turned out, with how the products look. Everything feels really set in place. And you know, sometimes cream products move around, sometimes liquid blush products feel too dewy, and they feel like they're kind of oily and moving around. And based on how it feels right now, it doesn't feel like it's gonna move anywhere which is really great and something that I think, you know, the like conscious or clean beauty industry is like catching up to right now, having like longer lasting products. I mean, this blush is definitely like my color blush. So I feel like that's one thing I can say is a standout product for me, but the highlight is also really gorgeous, really natural and gives you just a really pretty lip from a thin look. I'm not a big lip gloss wearer. However, I will say this one is super comfortable. And if you have been looking for a clear lip gloss, this might be the one. I really, really like the doe foot and the shape of the doe foot. It's just really unique and applies really well. I didn't have to go in and add any additional product. So what do you guys think? Is this a brand that you're gonna try? Have you already tried it? What do you think would be good products for the future of this brand? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of these products in action. If you have any other questions that I didn't really answer, let me know in the comments below. As always, I have everything linked down in the description box if you wanna go check it out. I'm gonna enjoy this makeup look for the rest of the day. I feel like this is a great, as advertised, minimal makeup look. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. That always means the world to me and it's just a really great way, a great free way to support creators that you enjoy watching. Like I said, let me know any questions down in the comments below and I will see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this. Bye guys.